Okay, so before we actually start getting to timeline editing, so we're going to start finessing our work, we're dropping bits and pieces onto the timeline, but then we want to finesse them in the timeline. There's one other little tool that I really want to teach you that's quite good, and that's about creating subclips. Now you can edit subclips, you can do quite a lot with subclips, but the idea behind it is this, it's particularly important if, say, you've got a long interview and you've gone through the interview and you want to select just little bits of the very long media file that you've got. So what we can do is we can select individual bits and we can create subclips for them, name them, and then you know exactly what you've got in your project panel ready to use when you want to use them. Now I'm just going to show you by pulling out this one wave that we've got in this long clip. So I'm going to select my panel and I'm going to do Control shift spacebar to play through this clip and you can see that's the wave that I want so it's my sideways wave so if I want the sideways wave as a sub clip I've got it in my source panel I can just either go to clip and I can choose make sub clip or alternatively I can right click on it and make sub clip and when you click make sub clip it says okay what you're gonna name it I'm gonna name this sideways wave and click OK and then sideways wave is then added to my project panel and if I was to pull that out onto my timeline, you can see that this item is just the length of the wave. It's going to come in and just play the wave and stop. And that's the actual file. Nothing more than that actual file. So I can double click to open it in my source monitor. So I've double clicked it and it's opened up in my source monitor. And you'll see that it just consists, the whole of the clip is just that one bit. I've taken it out of the bigger one and I've created a smaller clip. But even so, you can still take a clip and you can right click on it and you can go to edit subclip and then you can start to play around with editing the subclip. So if I wanted to make it longer, I can see what the start and end time was on the original tape and its total duration. And I can see its start time and its end time. And I can actually take that out and I can click OK. And now you'll see that the subclip is now significantly longer. takes a moment to catch up so you see I've added bits in by going to edit subclip so even though you've created a subclip don't think that it's stuck and you can't change it you can by taking the, the clip right clicking on it and going to edit subclip and then if you want to make it longer or you want its start point or its end point to change you can actually do that and still make sure that you've got everything that you want which say you needed a bit of head and tail footage for a transition and you hadn't quite allowed it where you can edit the subclip to do that. Subclips are a really useful tool, particularly when you're working with long bits of narration and you want to just pull out the bits that you want and give them sensible titles so that you know when to drop them in to your project. <laughs> 